the $25 added graciously by the Turning Stone Casino and Resort in Verona, New York. I'm upstate Al of AZB TV. We got another match coming up, as you can see, two of the players at the table, John Moody versus Matt Craw. We're expecting a real good match here. Before we get started on the way, we have a lot of folks to thank. We're going to go through some videos, some commercials from sponsors that are on board. And without them, it wouldn't be possible. And they deserve all the recognition that we can possibly give them. So just buy, bear with us just for a little while. And please visit the sponsors. And uh, if you're in the market for an item or you're curious or you just want to send them an email, we do appreciate it. It, it goes a long way. That's BaltimoreCityQs.com, where they bring anything from tips to tables to your event. Sort of like what Mike Zuglin has here. Uh, they bring a whole sports shop, along with many other vendors out of here, such as Light-Systems.com. Make sure to reach out to BaltimoreCityQs.com, though. L-I-T-E hyphen systems.com. That's the LED lighting that's taken the United States by storm. It's being installed in a lot of brand new pool rooms and a lot of older pool rooms are being retrofitted with LED. Mr. Fong is here on premises. Reach out to him on light hyphen systems.com. Billiard engineering.com. Quick slick shaft maintenance system. Billiard engineering provides nine micron rated films of three different grits. They're specifically selected to progressively put that glassy smooth feel on the shaft and keep it there. We also provide a patented burnishing block to ensure the pressure of each film is evenly distributed around the entire shaft. The results are incredible. Quick slick shaft maintenance system at the following locations. Pool Dog, Amazon, BilliardEngineering.com. BilliardEngineering.com. Get you a quick slick right there. Or if you're coming to the Turning Stone, Baltimore City Cues has them right up at the front. How about Kamui Roku? The Kamui Roku is now available at KamuiTips.com. Get over there and uh, take a gander around the website. But the Roku is flying out the door, so... Get your order in with John Bertone right now, KamuiTips.com. Bang. The best cloth in the world to use is Simonis, and that's what we are playing on here at the Turning Stone Casino. Also, Aramith balls are what balls we are rolling with. That's the way we roll with the best. There's the Roku chalk I'm talking about right there. We got this picture off of Google, I believe, or a search engine. Uh, and that's what it looks like. And that's exactly what I had when it was a prototype. And it's amazing chalk. Get your order in at KamuiTips.com. Hustlin' Clothing. That's right. This man, I got other graphics for Tony where he's actually sporting the dry fit jacket with the hoodie and the other jacket. Uh, you can't say enough about Tony Harrigan. You know, he supports a lot of players. Uh, he, his clothing is known around the world. Uh, you can go over to hustlinusa.com and uh, look at Tony's uh, website. He, he's a stand-up guy. This just came off the press yesterday. It's going to be ABN Billiards bringing us the Dream Challenge 2018 
It's the USA Moscone Cup team versus Russia, September 16th through the 18th, 2018. Go to abnbilliards.ru for your pay-per-view stream. If the links are not up yet, take a screenshot of that web address. So remember, abnbilliards.ru. Mr. Pat Fleming is uh, heading down to Norfolk, Virginia. Of course, you see the dates right there, October 21 through 27. Uh, it's the 2018 U.S. International Nine Ball Open. If you want to be a player, I suggest you get in right away as Pat Fleming is filling the field, and it's capped at 128. I think there's 40 or I think it's $50,000 added. It's, it's humongous. Everybody wants to get in. If you want to be a vendor, a spectator, or a player, make sure to get in touch with Pat Fleming at AccuStats.com. Mr. Mike Burton, he happens to be up front with a booth. Uh, if you see the display of sticks that he lays out, it's like um, you'll be drooling. Let's put it that way. And not only that, if you happen to shoot with a Josh Q from yesteryears that you cannot find anymore, I heard he's the go-to guy. Uh, get in touch with Mike Burton at mbqs.com or email him at mike at mbqs.com. That's his phone number right there. Great guy to, to deal with. Uh, let me just give you an example about Mike Burton. He sold a stick at one of the turning stones. Six months later, a customer came in and said that the chef had a little crack in the ferrule. And uh, Mike said, where's the chef? He took the chef, exchanged it six months later. That's Mike Burton. Cool to deal with. Of course, I showed you light-systems.com. That's also their Facebook page, uh, Light Systems, Inc., if you want to like them on Facebook. But this is the lighting that's taken the United States by storm, light-systems.com. Quick Slick, billiardengineering.com. Greg Antonakis, get your southwest from the best. That's his motto. But now Greg reassures me that he's got a lot of Predator cues also. He's got a lot of custom cues, brand new. Get in touch with Greg at GA9Ball at gmail.com or simply look him up on Facebook. Really, I think it's the best way. There's his name, Greg Antonakis. You could send him a private message right there on Facebook. The Kings of Vapor in Akron, Ohio, and also the Kings of Billiards, they own both businesses. Uh, they also sponsor AFC Fighting Champions. These guys are so huge. If you need anything in Vapors, this is the joint to go to. Say hi to Chad and Stephanie and Rick and the whole crew out in Akron, Ohio. Kamui. Excellent starts with Kamui. Of course, Mike Zuglin's uh, main sponsor is Josh Q's. We want to thank Josh Q's. Here you go. This is Gil Costello and his son, uh, all leather goods. Notice in the red writing, handcrafted leather products. Uh, I said it before, I had ample opportunity uh, and I did witness their work uh, at Super Billiards Expo uh, and other shows. Uh, these guys are top notch uh, when it comes to designing anything in leather. Uh, you name it, they have it. Shoes, wallets, belts, uh, pool cue wraps, cases. They got it. Check them out at CastilloLeatherGoods.com. Here's a company right here. They're called Billiard Product Reviews. They give you their reviews on everything billiards. Anything from sticks to gloves to chalk. Anything that has to do with billiards, these guys actually pay for their items. Sometimes they get the items sent to them so that they can review them. And they put them through rigorous test. It's unbiased, honest opinions on BilliardsProductReviews.com. But not only that, as the show proceeds here at the Turning Stone, uh, you go over to their Facebook page and you like the post on The View, uh, which is The Bridge by Kamui, and uh, they're giving away uh, one of the Kamui bridges, two chalks. I think it's great. The chalks sell for about 25 apiece. These guys are stepping up to the plate, giving products away, plus they're sponsoring us. It just doesn't get any better. That's a no-brainer. Just go over there and uh, 
like the post that they made on Billiard Product Reviews, and you're eligible to win. Chalky Sticks. Chalky Sticks is an app uh, that you can download for free for your iOS or your Android. And it's got a locator where you can locate pool rooms in any area that you're in. Uh, it's got a 24-hour TV channel. It's got this diagram of an overview of a pool table, which you see on the right. And uh, you can set up the balls the way you remember them on a certain shot and discuss it amongst friends. You know, what, what, what does everybody think was the best way to play it? Or what do you think about the shot? And what would you do in this situation? Well, that's all available on one app, and it's free. Chalkysticks.com. Uh, for your free app. Everybody's using it. I mean, you see it all over forums. Chalkysticks.com. Our man, our man, J.B. Cases. If you can head on over John to your tables. Barton is on board. Uh, how do you start talking about John? There's really nothing you can say bad. And when it comes to product and standing behind product and uh, sometimes getting up close and personal on Facebook and YouTube explaining how the cases are built. He shows you the ins and outs. It's JB Cases. JBCases.com. We want to thank John Barton and his family for the great support through the years. Thomas Grimaldi and family. You know, I suggest you search out Thomas Grimaldi on Facebook because... Um, you'll see the finished product of how they build game rooms in your household. Uh, they can install, they, they build custom bars, uh, custom game rooms. They service pool tables. Uh, whether you need it re or you need it balanced, these guys will handle it. That's their phone number, and that's their website address, tgrimalditables.com. Seven generations in business. Means they got their T's crossed and their I's dotted. Make sure to check them out if you're in the market. In fact, I know a personal friend they just delivered a table to and set up, and it came out real nice. And she's pretty happy, Jackie Flores. Baltimore City Cues, we mentioned them, and they're here, and they are big supporters of ours. We want to put it out there. We're ready with our uh, introduction to the players. We're just waiting on Mike Zuglin. It's going to take... Uh, Going to take a minute or so before Mike to get out here.
the champ. He plays out of Snookers in Providence, where we're going to have three tournaments this year. Renouf Tamba. All right. His opponent, he's from Ochope, Florida. You guys got to move. <laughs> Plays out of Salt City Billiards and Sounds Syracuse. Sounds like Okeechobee. Jerome Rockwell. Listen, everyone, remember our, our date change for our January Turning Stone event. I announced it earlier. We changed the date. You might already have a schedule, but in the last hour, it's been changed. It'll be January 10th to the 13th instead of the 3rd to the 6th. So we have new ones already printed up front up there. So make sure you grab a new one. All right. Table two. Fernandina Beach. Right? Florida. USAPL MVP. Jack Smith right there. All right. All right, from Pikesville, Maryland. He plays out of Top Hat Billiards in Towson, Maryland. Alvin Thomas. All right. All right, we're going to skip over table three. On three, it's going to be Bob Cunningham versus Earl Herring. Skip over four, where it'll be Steve Lillis versus Josh Burble. And we're going to skip over five. Will be Dave Mills versus Jesse Dokalovich. You guys should be right, right around there waiting. Are they almost done? Anybody close? Okay. All right, we're down here on six from Frederick, Maryland. He's got a lot of high finishes at, here at Turning Stone, as well as he's a former Moscone Cup Team USA member. He's a 2017 Barry Berman Memorial Champion. He's just still a young guy. He's still getting better. Brandon Schuff right there, and his opponent. He's uh, from Honye Falls, New York. 22 times he won on the Western New York Pool Tour. Welcome back, Nick Mercado right there. All right. Good luck. All right. On seven from Quebec. He recently won on our tour up at Union Station Billiards in Portland. He... Uh, had a nice third place finish right here at Turning Stone in 2013. He's sponsored by, La by Labasi Billiards, Danny Normandin, and his opponent. Another up and coming young player, plays out of uh, Snookers. He's from Providence, Rhode Island. Welcome back, Mike Pettit. Good luck. All right. All right. A little matchup down here. I'm sure you guys know each other too, don't you? You probably played before, huh? All right. First from Cambridge. Please. Well, he grew up in your room. <laughs> From Cambridge, Maryland. Uh, he's a regular here at Turning Stone. He always enjoys coming up to play with us. We welcome John Moody and his opponent. From Newark, Delaware, eight-time Mez Tour Player of the Year. Sponsored by Kamui, Hustlin' Clothing, and Lukasi, Matt Kra. Good luck. All right. Everybody must. All right, we're going to mute Mike Zuglin's mic as he makes the announcements for the other eight tables on the opposite side of the room. Uh, because these two players, or any players, uh, they were told that they can start their match if they wish to. Hello, Upstate Al. Mr. Ed Cohen in the booth. I just took a beating, but that's okay. I play at 10 o'clock. Matt Crow. John Moody. Where's Moody from? Do you know? I've seen his name. I think, I think he's a New England guy, right? Sorry to put you on the spot like that. Matt Crow yesterday played... I think Shane, hard fought. I think he got to seven. It might have been nine-seven final. I'm not Say sure. Say that again. 
Shane what? Shane played Matt Cry yesterday, I think. And it was, I think it was about 9-7. Hard fought, you know. So this is the one loss side? I believe so. Yeah, so the loser of this will be eliminated. Brandon Schaff up on the third table on your monitor. Shooting behind the back, that's Brandon. Steve Kurtz in the uh, in the chat there. What's up, Steve? And Stevie, the commish. Well. well, he's in good shape here. The way everything's laying here. Look at this layout. And since this one, the two, the three, wow. It's real pretty. He'd take this forever, too. Just don't let that heat get in your way in any way. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Jimmy Leslie Murphy in there. Hey, bro. Hi, Jimmy. Saying hi to everybody down there. Don't get on the other side. You see that roll over? Wow. He got the worst of that roll. Oh, that was horrendous. That th he was going dead into that three ball. Oh, you know what? He'd probably look at the tape later on. Nice hit. The eight might help him, or the six might help him. It did. Wow, he caught a big break there. And he deserved it after catching that bad roll on the three. Because he really got robbed on it. He was dead on that two ball. And it wrapped around that three ball and just took a curve. I'm a little elevated on this too. Matt Crow, a student of Stan Shuffett's Pro One Center to Edge. If you're not aware of it, it's not bad. I love it. He went down there and stayed with Stan to learn, I think, for a stretch. Nice shot. Troy. Hey, NJ. True. In the house. Yes, sir. NJ pool player. Throw his are. table on top of the table, please. We're good. Two. Yep. Two. Hey, Welcome, Mr. sir. Hey. NJ pool player. Good How are evening, you? everyone. Good, good evening, Facebookers. We've got a lot of great matches going on here. The next round is tremendous. It's just, it's just getting better and better. Running around the uh, stadium. Got some of our local guys and some of the local guys up here playing. When you're walking around the floor here, you don't know which match to watch next if you're just walking through. He got real good on this eight ball. Look at that. He comes down past the side and he's good. And... Uh, we all know Matt Craw. How about John Moody? You know, I, I didn't know anything about him. I was hoping that maybe somebody in the chat knows his history. I don't know where he's from even. I think he's a New England guy. Uh-oh. On the 50? Perfect. No, he's good. Wow. This is the first game. Matt's coming out in front. Let's see what his break looks like. <laughs> Leslie Murphy, uh, he says, Al, listening to the stream when I was on my way on the interstate, Reminds me of uh, when we used to watch baseball on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt Craw up on nothing. He's a tough opponent there, Matt yeah, Craw. He did real well. He, I think he's down in the action pool tour down in Virginia area. You know, Matt does he, a lot of traveling. Yeah. On his own he, dime most of the time. Yeah, he's a contender. Absolutely. He loves it. 
Yeah, he puts his heart into it yeah. for sure. Let's get a scoreboard up here for the folks at home. Works real hard. And we're going to put the logos around the board, folks. He's very uh, serious, very serious about his game. And we just want to mention, before we go any further, that AZ Billiards, you see the logo on the bottom, has all the brackets and the update rack by rack of every table in the arena here. 16 tables. They're keeping an eye on all of them. Mm, nice break. And uh, they are updating them in real time. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I wouldn't even mind if the, one of the, some of the chatters throw it up there in the... Uh, in the chat box, throw some of the scores in there once well, in a while. Well, we can actually view them ourselves uh, yeah. at the same time. The only thing we can't have AZ Billiards open, and well, I guess I could open a different yeah. tab, but you know, all the matches just started, and there they go right there. That's how simple it is. Well, that was a good shot. Upstate Al just it was popping weird. up like three or four screens here in his elaborate showcase of TVs and they all have a purpose, that's for sure. Matt played a real delicate safety there. So it was, I thought it was pretty interesting. A rail first. Yeah. And then drew it back behind the 6-7 that little bit. He got good on it. In fact, that link that Jimmy Leslie Murphy just put in the comment there, that'll bring you right to all the tables. Wow. Well, this is, Matt might be kicking again. This guy's going to yeah. draw I, off he, the if rail. He kicks it and stops and sends the, the one down. Maybe draw it behind that 7 that little bit. That's, that's a tough shot. A, yeah. He's not digging into it. Just don't put it oh near the boy, nine ball. Yeah. This behind. is what happens. Oh, if it went on the other side. Yeah, he caught oh a break there, God. right? Yeah. That would have been history. That close to your work. Real right. close to your work. Let's get a little close up on this here. Oh, he's got to be careful here with this. Um, oh, wait. So, one nine, he's looking to possibly play safe. I, I think uh, his other option besides safe is to put the cue ball right in back of the nine kind of jack up and pinch draw it back and hopefully like what he's doing there you hopefully you, you don't think he's looking for that window between the six and the nine for the two yeah if you, i think you might have to oh, go, do. In, go okay. into the nine and move it out of the oh way. really yeah, yeah. like this. That, would, that would be scary i, th I would think yeah. yeah well we're gonna find out in a second oh you think he's gonna kick that nine up to the six oh, here no. he's just he's just bringing it up he's got room okay. oh yeah he's good there that could have got away from him right there. You had to be no, careful. Easy. But he had to be careful. Somebody though. asked uh, what, what Aramis uh, balls are we playing with. We're playing with the Aramis Tournament Pro Cup TV set. You can order them uh, right from uh, Aramis. They call the Aramis Tournament Pro Cup TV set. That was a real nice shot. You got good here. They're not confusing. They're not confusing, that's for sure. The only difference is the. Uh, Careful, camera one. He may have to. Um, he may have to go off the long rail here and come back over. I don't know if the six goes by the nine there. Yeah, just roll it up. Yeah. Stay off the rail. Oh, he does have the pocket. That link. Matt's tough. He's definitely a grinder. Yeah, good, yeah. Pretty good shooter, you know. Never He's give up in him, yeah. No give up in him. Yeah, you, you, I don't care who you are. If you're in a match with him, I mean, you know, if you someone gets to the table and they just run out, then yeah, sure. that's one thing. But you, you know, you're, he's always going to be fighting. Yeah, his fundamentals are perfect. You know, he's, always does, he's you know, he, he, he follows the same routine. Stays down on the ball. I like, I well, like the I, fact that he's using the centered edge myself. So, so listen, Just how'd, you, yeah, how, go ahead. how'd you do? Uh, at three to two, I think I was up at three to two at one time, and then the wheels fell off. <laughs> That's right. You can get these balls at the uh, Black Billiards in New York City. And the only difference is the four ball and the 12 ball, really. They're the pink ones, just so you can determine uh, the colors instead of the purple and mixing it up with the black. Very nice. Nicely done. Looks like Matt Cross is going to draw 2 nothing right now. Ed Colhane and NJ Pool player in the box. Thanks for having us, Al. And good work once again to uh, all involved yeah, for nice the show. stream. Nice show. For this great Sterling, uh, yeah. Turning Stone Classic number 30 here right. in Verona, New York. Uh, the weather is perfect outside. The 
it, this is just a great place to have. This be. tournament will it's, probably it's, it's run. It's a good for, place to be. We'll probably run forever. This tournament, you know, just the way it's going. You know, just so, it's just so. It, it's one of the better tournaments in the world. Yeah, the times are scheduled. Yeah. Uh, Beautiful which, play which, venue. Which a lot of nice people place. are going now, which is good to see. And they have chili at the snack bar, in case you guys don't know. What? Chili. Excellent chili. <laughs> Chili. Oh, chili. It's almost free. I said that chili, yeah. Hot chili peppers. No, no chili today, chili pal. No, no, but they had great. The clam chowder was like dessert, I swear to God. Best I ever had in my life. All right, but here they're we not going to put out bad food in the place like this. Watch the pink four ball on the left side of this rack go towards that corner pocket. Cut break? Yeah, it looks it, huh? Yep. Yeah, look at that. Went one. right in. Uh-oh, here uh, comes a five. A little trouble. Well, all right, you're all right. You he might have it. a hit on it. Where do you go from here? Well, he doesn't this is no bar push, here. push or kick. Tie something up, maybe. He, I think he has an edge of it, correct? I don't know if he can back cut it towards the five, though. That You know, hit it that thin. Yeah, he better and send the, get the two and the six involved then. Yeah. I, it's just, you're going to leave it hanging out there? Well, no, I, I meant to bank it back over. But if I, he don't have that kind of angle, he's, he's going to push. Yeah, he's pushing. Good move. That's all he had. Oh, he pick. left him the shot, didn't he? Yeah, this is. That, I'd shoot that one ball. But I think you play safe here. You don't like the one ball in the corner? Yeah, yeah I think it's very shootable. The two balls going to wind up getting buried behind one of these two balls. Yeah, okay. you're going to. Yeah, there's no no reward in it. If you hit it, you're that him. But now it would be good if you could send the one over to the five well, and send the listen, cue ball down. He's he's down to nothing right here. He, he has this opportunity. Hey, guys, in the comments right now, that's Steve Sherman. He says, uh, okay, guys, give our site a like, and I will pull a winner for our first Roku chalk after this game. I don't know if he means after the set or wow, after this what rack. A shot. But uh, go, go over there and, uh, and like his website, and that's all you got to do to be uh, to qualify to win a, a Kamui gift uh, courtesy of Billiard Product Reviews. Got Ed, sorry I'm about sorry, that. I'm sorry, I interrupted. No, no, no. He, you he do it all the time. He, I'm no, used yeah, to but it. he just made a great it. bank, and I just came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was I'm just so a sorry. bank. No, it good. was just a bank. It was a great bank. Sorry, I stop making those fingers behind Eddie's head. I wasn't. You? Stop it, man. <laughs> Hold on, I'm busy. I'm going on the uh, busy? Facebook. Oh. Trying to help you guys. And what was the site there? Billiard Product Reviews. All right. Sorry, Al. That's all right. It's one of the sponsors that are giving prizes away. It's pretty nice of them. You know, they pay for a lot of the products, and they put it through rigorous test, and they give you their uh, honest and unbiased review of it. <laughs> There's the link, facebook.com forward slash billiard product reviews with the S. Just click it and like it. All right, let's see how many likes we can get from him. I already liked it. Okay, I All like right, it. so you're eligible. I hope that guy Steve Kurtz don't win it. We don't even like him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoever wins. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I love Steve. <laughs> what is this? I thought Eddie got banned from commentating. He, he is banned as soon as you get here, Tip. I don't know where you are. Oh, oh Tippy's upstairs? He might he, be up He anywhere. sweated my match. And, uh, and we were laughing a little bit. It was okay. It was all good. <laughs> Look at Steve Kurtz working. <laughs> He's beautiful. Oh, that's a bad miss uh, by John, and he's left Matt a shot. Yeah, Tippy told me he was playing the winner of Johnny Archer's match. I guess they play at 10 or tomorrow, maybe. Okay, Matt Crabb back up at bat here. Matt has a long way to get to the six. Uh, the, the, I think the correct shot it might be drawing this. Wow, yeah, this is tough. But you, I guess you can follow it, but following it, I, I can't get there from here to follow Do a quarry it. shot right here. Rail first with inside draw and come off the long rail on the other side. Corey Dua would do this, right, Corey? No, he's going inside. He's going to not worry about the seven. This is a good shot. Just watch the side. There we go. Perfect. Wow, he hit Just it good. Wow. Wow, he hit it beautifully. Wow. Nice shot. Wow, he got, wow that was a great shot. Reckon with it, without a doubt. That was a great shot. Because of the speed of the table, he, are you thinking trying to hold this up or go back and forth? Straight up and down, right? Way to go, guys. Yeah. Like, like that. You like that? Product reviews. 
Yeah, I like that, Eddie. Yeah. yeah. Up one rail and he'll be good. He might not even have to go up that far. To be no, honest, no. Right, right up past the nine a little. But we're playing on Simonis here. I say, you don't want to, you want to get the ball to the hole, though. You don't want to have to try and roll it. There to answer go. a question by Perfect. Mark Lamberti from Jersey, yeah, it is free to watch in person. There is no charge. You can watch all the matches, Mark. Bring a lot of cue balls. In the front row, you'll be sitting. It's yeah. nice. Mark Lombardi, you can come here and uh, hang out with us. Yeah, you can hang out with us, too. Yeah, bring Sue. Yeah, bring Upstate Al and all his friends. Yeah, bring all his <laughs> friends. <laughs> bring Mark, Marco, and Abby. Oh, he's going up in the corner, do you think? Yeah, not bad shot. Or maybe a bit of speed yeah, and, and right play up in the corner. What you, yeah, up in the corner. Oh, he did, yeah. You worry too much. That yeah, was yeah, a worry. Really. Dude, it's Can you see him animal. on a battleship or something? Just shoot. You, hear you know, knees. I don't need you ganging up on me too, mister. You can hear his knees rattle. I get it from here the, the whole session before. <laughs> You're scared to death. <laughs> Oil. I hate you guys, man. <laughs> Knock it off. I got to play at 10 o'clock. Johnny Sturgis. Oh, you, in the you're still in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still in. And then I got to play tomorrow. Oh, I, I, who knows what time, you know? Because I'm winning my next match. Who do you play? I don't hey, know. Hey, Mr. Sturgis. Oh, you might want to go I don't know. prep what? yourself up for that. Maybe not. I never did that. Great. Venue, comfortable seating, it's absolutely you don't tipster. Hey, uh, maybe Danny uh, shows up tomorrow. There is no clicking of like a CB mic to say breaker, breaker. Eddie just steps on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> is there, is there, maybe Danny shows up tomorrow, possibly. Oh, that nice. would be nice. All right, yeah, here we go Danny. to the break. Matt right. Carr. Again, watch the Free wing zip. ball. Ooh, that time it came short. He let the cue ball go yeah, a little bit. Too, dry huh? break and a shot on the one. Got a couple of issues here, though, with the nine and the... Uh, the four and three, yeah. Four, three there at the bottom of the table. Two ball up in the corner. That's even, that even creates more of an issue to get down there for the three ball. Well, if he but, got good, he could slide under that six and draw down. Yeah, past the eight. It'd be great to watch. Past no, no, the no, ball? under the six, right down into the nine. No, no I don't think I want to watch him do that. He's just got to oh, get on Oh, he's going to do it now. Yeah, he's going to come short behind the... What is that, the eight ball on the left side? No, yeah. I think he's going to go under the six and draw it down. Oh, don't go that way. Don't make a liar out of me. All right, he plays yeah. normal. Yeah, yeah easy. <laughs> oh, he's got the one-three combo. All right. One-three. He just. I mean, the yeah. One. I'm sorry. To, That's the nine ball. He's got to come under the six and draw Listen, down. Slow down, Spocky. Listen, all he has to do is make the two and hit it hard. Well, not too hard. This uh, is Simonis. You, Troy, look at that that he's angle. You wouldn't draw under the six and come he, down. He's gonna he's slide. Draw under the six. Are you crazy? No, no. We it's sound a, like a bunch of parakeets. He's staring right you in the face. Yeah. We do. See, he See if you hit it hard where you wind up. This is Simonis, baby. You're playing on ice. It is ice. Doesn't get any better than this. Wow, He's look at that. Back up the table on Conditions that are, uh, yeah. this is how we should be playing pool. Got a little sticky when the sun was out. Now it's evening time. Everything's like. Oh, was it, did, it, did it get a little? Oh, it was, and it, yeah. the conditions changed. Yeah, the conditions right, changed right, right. a little a bit. A little bit, yeah. but not much. And now it's uh, back to great plan. You know, if he could draw it right back to where he is, he could cut that three ball from there. Well, most people, uh, I'm going to just bring something up different, and I, it, it rings true. It, it may it may be the perfect condition for a pool, and uh, the mighty Earl, Earl Strickland, five-time U.S. Open winner, right, says he'd like to see heated tables, like billiard tables, and it, it would kind of resolve the whole issue, but, you know, cost-effective and moving them, and that's an element that breaks, but that, it, it's an idea. That's what Earl said to me and Pat over at that Salt City place the other night, too. He was I would like uh, to, to, sorry, Eddie, I to stepped on you this time. Go ahead. I know, I know how you are. I'd like to thank uh, Inside English uh, oh. for their uh, donation. Appreciate it. Really do. Uh, also, I want to thank uh, Robert Mason. Also, thanks all for the great work. I just can't figure out how to chat using Facebook. Send me instructions if possible. Rob Mason. Okay. How do you chat it? Oh, you, are you on a mobile device? Oh, I, that's bad. You got my email address, Rob. Are you on a mobile device? <laughs> it's, 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 is it kind of tough to chat on a phone? I never did. Oh, right, you got to have the Facebook app. Oh, Rob, that's what you got to do. Uh, download the Facebook app from the App Store, and then you'll be able to chat while watching. Well, no, I, my phone's... It's tough. Sometimes you're allowed to do it. Maybe it's just because of the app. You have oh, to get the app. That. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got the app. You got to get the Upstate Owl app. If you don't have the app on an, an, uh, on an Apple device, um, 
You can't chat. You can't even watch. You can't even watch. Well, for those of us just joining, we're in this great Friday night. Mr. Moody trying to get on the board here. This, we are at the 30th Turning Stone Classic. Right now we got the... Uh, what's Mr. Moody's first name? John? John Moody? John, yeah. Looking at uh, the score, you know... This guy isn't out of it because I've seen him play, play some great shots. So the man is a player for sure. Right, and you got that's what you got to do. Yeah, is I've sit, seen, set Matt Craw down. Yeah, and I've yeah, and I've seen him his name over the years. So I'm sorry I don't know about him, man. But he, here he is, and he should be out here. He's right in line to come around two rails for the eight here. Good speed, everything. That's good. Gets him on the board here. A little double clutch there. Yeah, yeah it's better to stand up. Sure. Something caught his eye in the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, our way. It's not us. We can't. No, we're not moving. He can't see us. He can't see me from here. Maybe just the camera. So he realized he was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 no. Did he jump up a little or just took it for granted? And I don't know. He missed it. I didn't like the way he played position for it off the eight. I would have slow rolled it a little bit more than he did. He went to the bottom rail and bounced up. But he didn't bounce up enough. Well, he did, but he just missed the ball. Yeah, just stay down on this. Watch yeah. your speed. Yeah, he's not one to miss a ball like that, I don't believe. 4-0 here. That's a big game right there. 3-1 or 4-0 is huge. Yes, yeah, it's definitely a, a shift in yeah. back to momentum going to Matt. Yeah, let Matt get yeah, his arm loose, like and who yeah. knows what's going to happen. Like like Frankie got loose yesterday, you know, all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. And yeah, Frankie Hernandez. Catch a gear, yeah. On the back table. Uh, Laurie John, uh, some of the other matches, if you go to AZ Billiards. Is Frankie on the floor now? That's what I just said. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. I didn't hear him, sorry. That's a little snappy there, you know. You getting this, Al? Well, that's because you're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking. All right, here we go. Matt Craw. Uh-oh. Uh, what do we got for a score in there? Dry break. Four nothing. How do you like it? Yeah, yeah. Look at that four. That's four. what you need to do in your next match. Get up four nothing. Five, five. Five nothing. Five. You like five better? I, well, I don't know who I'm playing, so it's going to be interesting when they show up. Uh, well, I'll see it on top of the table. Who doesn't? Names. Who doesn't love playing as a front runner? I hope it's not Pat. Wouldn't that be something? We talked about that on the way up here. Oh, that's definitely. And they're playing Pat Fleming. Yeah. No, I don't think. It, Frank, you last uh, lost to Danny Hewitt. That's correct. So he's on the one loss side. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Tippy plays at 10 o'clock tonight. Yeah. Oh, Frankie lost to uh, Hewitt? Yeah, yeah, Danny's a great yeah. player. Yeah. Oh, I know. He's a great Dan player. Nobody yeah. has to like it when That's playing Danny or Frankie. <laughs> when when that match was going on over there, um, I passed by. It was just starting out. I was like, this is a great match to watch. Well, he did miss. He missed him on the safety here. Left him a good shot, but the four is still a problem over there. Well, he's listen. Matt's back at the table. He's up four nothing. And does, the other guy's sitting in his seat. Does he have the billiard on the seven with the four if he needs it? Yeah, it could be there. It's uh, maybe if you get get the four thin enough. I don't. I don't want to have to. It's shootable as it is. If you can get on that long rail a little bit, you know, you can make the combo. Could do something with it right now. Big pocket right here. We Actually, can cheat this pocket he, a little he, bit he too. Can, well, you're not gonna like it, but he can go forward on with, this one? with inside English and knock that five oh, out. Oh boy! And the two's wow. The two's still there. He was thinking about the four. One's got a pocket, half a maybe about half a pocket. This oh, is John this. Moody at the table now. Yeah, John Moody just grabbed those. Just chalk like enough is enough. I've. 
you know, it's a, he's up four nothing. I got to put my foot down. Yeah, yeah. Well, not miss. No time like the present, Mister. You know, you know when you're in your chair, you're happy to get up again. Time to play. Time to shoot. Oh, yeah, that's that, a problem. Where yeah, that was like a half that. a pocket, but now, wow. Matt's got to be liking this. Wonder how he's going to come off of this too. Off the top of it and play the two in the same, uh, in the same corner. Yeah. He can't go into the four now. He'll get trapped down here. Maybe beyond the five. Maybe he doesn't even have to go into the four seven. He can play the billiard or the, or the combo. short look at that that's a great shot so, all right so he sets up for the combination yeah he got that pretty good only problem with the combination on that long rail over there for this four seven is double up the four five yeah the double right. up the four five right. yeah, unless you play it under the five yeah and get lucky and you know it slides over well i don't know if he's got the billiard from here if, if that was doable but yeah, he'd but have to go for the combo the, here even the billiard where, where's the three ball going to go? Yeah, sure. You, you may not have a shot. I, I Maybe a combination I like best. Don't hit the eight, whatever you do. Well, I'm not happy about this. Well, lucky you're not shooting. He's not, he's not gonna, well, he's going to play the combo, and, and he's close enough to it. Right, and he's got it's, a, it's not an impossible shot. And the opposite angle makes the cue ball go at the, this ball right here and do that. Wow. <laughs> That's a good move. Yeah, I like he caught the best of it there. No, that's, uh, that's why he, I don't know if he elected to shoot it from that side. Right, right. But if you keep the cue ball out of it, we, we discussed that earlier, where it'll come under the five. Correct. Yeah. Well, anyway. What a shot. Wow. Nice, Very nice. Nice cut. Strong shot there by Matt Craw. Up four nothing. Yeah. Thanks, John Moody. We're here at the it's Turning Stone Classic. A little bit of a mess right here. Six in the side, and then you got to get, you got to follow through to get up on that eight ball. If he doesn't catch the top part of the long rail, if he catches the bottom, he's got to bounce, and then go over back to the other long rail. That's it's going to be a great just, shot. I just, don't just leave the cue ball there, shoot it up in a the corner. There's another shot. That might be the move. That is definitely the move. He just keeps looking at that side pocket because it's tempting. But you're right. He's right in line for that six corner corner. Oh, yeah, that's a, a Looks like he's going forward, keep, yeah. Keeps you off the rail, too. Well, he's got either one. Oh, he could, now he's going to draw under the nine to get on, on the eight up there? You'd rather play this on the side? Uh, no. I'd rather be straighter and play it in the corner. I don't like... He might have a little bit of tough angle here. Maybe he gets past that side pocket. Oh, he did. Good shot. That was a good shot. Don't you have one of these tables here at Cohen? Go crown two. Oh, you got a Pat's table. Look at that. Well, I have Pat's uh, studio table. That's uh, one fact, way to miss it. He's buying it back pretty soon. This is not fun. You can cut this no, in. Absolutely it. cut it in coming in uh, well, low left. Well, he's happy to have the kick. But you know, if you hit it too the the rail too much, it comes off and you scratch right in the corner. He's happy to be out of his chair right now. He's going to do a rail first on this? Is that yeah. what he's looking at? Yeah, shoot it. What else are you going to shoot it or kick it in? Or kick it in, yeah. I thought I thought maybe he had to kick it. So well, Unless you want, you play me, you want to play safe, go ahead. I like rail first on some of this stuff. I, I mess around he's, with it at home a lot. He's looking at the kick. Look at this. Yeah. Shoot, shoot the it The kick is a big, big ball. Yeah. And you can hit a little firm and come down for the nine. The kick might be the shot, unless he's comfortable with this real first stuff. You may have practiced that kick shot plenty before you went and go play it in a match. Nothing like kicking at a ball like that and not even hitting it. <laughs> wow, you hit yeah, it good. Yeah, good shot. Watch the side. You don't want to be kicking at that ball. Yeah, you just cut it in right now. Well hit, you know. You well spin hit. it. You spin it in there. Yeah. I don't know that. Ed said he was going to kick it in. <laughs> 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 well, 
I could be taking a nap. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Don't give it up. Look at this. Give it up. Coming short from Matt. Well, he, you know what? He just hit that pound right into the rail. Did he jump up and everything also? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fun to be in a match. Uh, you're down four nothing. Yeah, but he just executed that eight ball so well, and you need to bear down on that nine just as bad. Matt's got to be real happy now. That was this yeah. five zero over four one is going to be huge now. It's going to be five nothing. Yeah, big game. You're right. You're right. Well, Matt up five nothing against well, John Moody. That quarter break the right there. Turning Stone Casino. Wow. We are at the Turning Stone Classic, the 30th. How many have you played in, Eddie? Since I played two matches so far. How many? Two matches. One too many. I play at 10 o'clock again. No, how many Turning Stones do you think you've oh, played? Oh, I played in, in um, I played for about 10 or 11 years in a row. And I missed one August one or one, yeah. Oh, or maybe cool. one Jack. Nice, I, nice. I played in about 19 Good. or 20. Okay. We, it's fun. As much as I, I we break your chops and uh, everything. You, you are a supporter of pool. <laughs> it's and we got to tip our hat to you for that. sitting home, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, you go, one. You, you go and you support the tournaments. You're playing them. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I've been in the, in the world's a lot of years. Now. I didn't get in this year. First time in about 10 years, I guess. Look at this. He's got a push here, I think. I don't even think he has an edge of this. If he had an edge of this ball, he could play the safety. Just sending it over to that seven. And stopping and using the six as the blocker, and he'd come around. What do you think about that? I was. Uh, if he had the edge, I like that. Yeah, thinking. he did it. There it is. Yeah, wow, shot. he executed. Blue. Wow, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, he crippled him. He's got one real kick here. One real kick, yeah. Or two well, rails. Maybe I mean, a two. You yeah. have two. Yeah. You can go two rails well, also. You know, I don't think he'd go short under the six here. I think one rails it the, the way to go though. One and a half, two. Three, as much four, as I like going five. two and three rails you know, on everything, he's I'm going two rails. That's I'm looking it. like, he, I'm looking like he's going short, under the six. No. Um, I seriously am. Right from that angle, he's doing there. Depends what he's. Yeah, look. Uh, I thought he would have went under the six, and um, it was it was no no easy hit there. No. He, He's he's in a bad way right now. The way, the way he was aiming, uh, I go by Little Joe Villapando system, which I use a lot. And you guys that don't know about it, it's it's interesting. It's a lot of fun to play. Systems. Yeah, big, uh, Joe Joe Villapando. Good guy, Joe. He got in a bad accident last year on his way to Derby. And uh, or this year rather, on his way to Derby City, a truck ran him off the road. And oh. He ended up in the hospital. Thanks. For Hope you're well, Joe, if you're watching. Now he has a, what type of system? Um, it's a numbered system. Uh, I guess it, it derives off the diamond system. Okay. Diamond system is a good thing to learn. He's a great guy. That's feeling real comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> it's 6 nothing. do you think? In a minute, it'll be 6. Can he stretch for this? He can really. Just going to draw it back. Yeah, you got Careful, real close. Real close real to your work close, there, sir. Real close. Oh, look at that. That's like straight pull. I position. wonder how straight he is here. Oh, no, he's got a nice little line. Oh, he does? Yeah, he's absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like gin. It's like an automatic right there. Look at that. Like gin, yeah. <laughs> Not the drink, the game. Uh, right. I understand. I just don't want anybody to get the. That ain't me. We got there. Six nothing. Matt Cross. Six nothing. Yeah. Making an easy way to, you know, has a nice little walk to race to nine. He's not getting, not getting too much flack from John Moody. Hopefully, John is, gets an opportunity here and uh, is able to you know, put some balls together here. And stay on the table. Maybe put. Matt go on the seat a you little can, bit. You could see when Mo when John got out of his seat there before, you could see his whole attitude change. He was like, you know, enough of this. Right. And things happened. Uh, so may maybe he's still in it. I would imagine so. No shot on the one here except a 
Well, a hit on the one. I don't know if you're playing this. We've got to play the eight. Are you think with the billiard to go into that six? I think that I think you'd have to cut it into it because yeah. now that's a big ball that eight ball. Cut the one into the yeah. Ground. Cut right into it instead of going the billiard into it. And what is that? The, the five uh, oh, he's three down here, all tied up. It, 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 the well, three five. He's got the combo. You do have the combo, so I it, guess worry about one problem at a time here. Yeah. Is make make sure you just don't double kiss this one ball into the eight. Well, the one's gonna hang. come straight back. Oh, he did that. Look. And he got buried that way. Yeah. Now. Next, that, next if, trick. If he would have caught it, that could have been the cue ball instead of the one ball. You know, so he played the billiard and he got trapped anyway. I don't know if he has the kick behind. The, the, the hit the short rail, come between the nine and the seven to spin it. Oh, he's going one rail in. Look. Oh, nice hit. Well, he kind of. You know, did, he did real good on that. No, well, he kind of did John a favor by opening a three five up. Well, he's got a he's got a shot here. I don't know if he's got a half a pocket again on this one ball. He doesn't need to have a pocket after not getting out of his chair for a while at this distance. No, I'm looking at the different camera. I don't believe he has it. He doesn't need to hit that four at all either. He needs to get down here for that three. Yeah. yeah. He tried to make the pocket bigger than it was. Well, I don't know if I don't know if that one's makeable, is it? Yes. You can cut that in? Yeah, with a bridge. Oh, he's stretching. Look at this. This is foul on all you know, balls. That's, that's a pretty good stretch. I mean, I would probably have to, have to use the bridge on that. Look at that. You overcut it. Well, maybe Mr. Nudy, Moody's got something to work with here. Maybe well, that was that was unfortunate for Matt because he's up six nothing. Yeah. And, and he, I think that, that with a little complacency settled in on that shot. Yeah, but Mr. Moody might have needed this break just to like open something up. He's got to feel bad at six nothing. Well, I don't think Matt Crow was thinking that he 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 making this guy feel bad. Maybe I should miss. Yeah, he should. Yeah, I mean, give the guy a break. <laughs> <laughs> you would do it. Look at this. Left on the combo. He's in good shape. Yeah. Just got to keep the cue ball down below the side pocket. Yeah, don't let that three ball go behind that. Uh, what is that, the four there? Yeah. Off the five and up on, under the four. Yeah, he's good. Just pocket speed. Nice shot, nice shot. Whoa. Well, maybe this man gets on the board now. There's no pressure here, by the way. You know. Actually, there is. Oh, absolutely. Not that much. No, right there is. For there him. is for you, you think so? Not for me, there is. He's down 6-0. Yeah. It makes me crazy. If you're the down pressure gets me. Six not. No, if I, no, it's just pressure anyway. Oh, know, right, 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 right. You're on a TV table, you're on a turning stone. That's what's bigger than that, right? It sounds to me like you need to put yourself in that position more often than not then. I don't, I don't, I practice with Pat. Like, you know, like. And a nice, uh, but that, nice atmosphere. That, that's, that's, there's that, no yeah, pressure. There's no it. pressure at all. I play all day by myself. I, you can't miss a ball. Practice champion, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pr I swear to God. Eight hours a day out of it, <laughs> you can't miss a ball. And then you get that pressure on you because now you're playing somebody. And the whole head the whole head game changes up on you. Right, well, your whole game changes. Yeah, because uh, you get that little. Is there a way? Your you elbow need? tightens up. <laughs> well, maybe maybe you need some. I need to get out more. That's all. Yeah. From a, a teacher or someone yeah. that's been in that situation. And I'm say. reading. I'm reading up on it right now. Inner tennis uh, yeah. is a good example of you know self help to uh, get your head straight. But that's been going on forever with me, and it goes on with a lot of people. The head game. Yeah, it is all mental. Uh, yeah. Once you have the basics down sure. and you know the moves and the yeah. and nine ball, you got to shoot to one through the nine and try and control the cue ball. We all yeah. have the basics down, I guess. Or you know, some basics are worse than others, but uh, yeah. And then it becomes how mentally strong you are. 
Yeah, so I'm not even down in the pool. I'm shooting for like 20 or 50 a set or nothing. I haven't gambled in years either. Well, I lost everything I had in 2006, so gambling for me was like, I was happy to get some of my money back, you know. Right, right. But uh, that's something else. You, you were able to practice that long? Eight, now? Yeah. Eight now. hours a day? I, yeah, I play. Oh, I play day and night every day. Wow. I never leave the house. So you should, you should, if you can knock that. Well, I play, I play well against Pat, so I'm happy about that. If you can knock that pressure guy off your back. Yeah. Well, the help, that's, you know, what's helping is the practice with Pat, because now I got some, some pressure against me every day, you know. We play 10 ball, cold shot, cold safety, and we have a good time for about two hours. It's a lot of fun. And Pat just won his last match. He's, yeah. He's not playing too bad. 9-2 to two he won. Good for him. And 9-1, nine, nine to one on, I think, on the first, on yesterday's match. So he's playing at 10 also. I'm playing at 10. I think his break's going to hurt him, though. Um, I can't announce anything on that. I know what he's doing with the break. I do, too. But Wait, I'm saying it, you think it, it's gonna it hurt? changes the game. Yeah. yeah. You know? I liked his format. Uh-oh. You I, like the winner I liked break his format? format? No, the incoming player will push out after the break or oh, force his oh, opponent to push. Uh, yeah. They did that in the challenge yeah, matches. Listen, there's too many. Let's stick with the the rules of Oh, yeah, I know. Rules, but I know? put that up on Facebook, and Shane said, I'll quit the game if they do that. <laughs> <laughs> These guys like to break, man. They all got it down. They spent a lot of time practicing it. You yeah. know, I don't blame them. I mean, it's that's a lot of hard work in, in, in you know, figuring out your break. Look at Jason. He makes that wing ball and gets that one ball up every time, and how are you going to fade that, right? Look at this position. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention how how John got back to the table there. I, I missed it. I'm sorry, folks. They had to watch it. They got us on mute. Well, Matt Crow making quick work of this. Uh, yeah set here so far. Take, take that seven down in the, in the corner, down the lower corner. Nice speed there. Look at that. Yeah, John's got to be a little disappointed so far. Oh, right. He could just pull this back about two balls and play the eight up and, and draw down on that one also. Just draw back about, about six inches. He'll be real good. Draw back to where he is, it'd be even better. Yes, it would. <laughs> I don't think he'll go for the side, though. Yeah, that was good. Oh, now he, he'll probably end up playing the nine in the lower corner, the left corner now, because he's going to draw straight down, right? Well, just shooting his shot's a lot easier at six. Yeah, yeah yes, it is. Oh, six one. Six John, one. He broke the ice. We're chit-chatting away here. Shoot it in the pocket. There you go. Nice, nice, nice hit. If you follow, try, if follow, follow through on it. Yeah, nice. Matt Cross 7-1 against John Moody here at the Turning Stone Classic. We're in the second day. You can see the uh, matches and the live scoring on AZ Billiards. We could thank all our sponsors here down around the screens. Particularly easy birds, hermits, Simonis. You know, while Matt's at seven here, if John could put something together and get snap off the next two games, you know, now puts Matt in his chair. He still needs two games. He's not on the hill. It does change it up a little bit. You know, maybe change the whole momentum. That's a bad break. That's Look at that. That's terrible. Break. And this is right here. It could happen if he's going to turn it on. He, he better do it right here. Yeah. Well, it's a good time to get it yeah. after your opponent breaks. Yep. He left the door open for him. Now he's playing the ghost, so all he needs to do is get out here. And he can put something together. I feel bad for him at se you know, seven and one, but it happens. And folks. That's, that's the only reason Matt scratched, to let him back at the table. He yeah. felt bad too, you understand? Yeah, like uh, all the, say hi to all the chatters in the chat room. I don't have it up in front of me, but uh, yeah. I know who you are. I'll go back and read all the comments. But I'd like to also mention all of the sponsors. 
Baltimore City Q's, JB Cases, Chalky Sticks, Grimaldi. Well, I wonder if he's going to play the four in the same pocket as the three right here. Is he going to cut this in? Oh, he can't miss the four here, can he? Not like these sponsors. These yes. are all people we know. Oh, you yeah, know, like yeah. JB oh, Cases, sure. and they make tremendous Yeah, and that cases. Chalky Sticks guy, I met him up at Steinway, nice Baltimore kid. Baltimore City Q's are here, Chalky Sticks, yeah. He's a, Ni a nice app, too. I like yeah, that. I was yeah, down in so Tennessee. And I, I just like for it. the chatters to, you know, just stop by there. Absolutely. Drop them an email or go on their Facebook and uh, check out their site and see what they're offering here. Well, just tell them thanks Whoa. for a good job and thanks for supporting Pool so we can watch the stream. Yeah, they appreciate it. There's you know, most these are all small guys, light systems. Well, here's some tough position the three to the four here. You're like, gonna miss that whole mess there, pretty much like all one man bands, you know. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, they are. Uh, I just want to give my heartfelt thank you to all of them. Yeah, support. Support. I do love this game, and we're just trying to provide you a uh, little entertainment and some analysis on the pool game, give you some scores, and have some fun. No one hates the game. Oh, he played a safety. Look. Oh, look at that. He got a billiard out of it. That's not bad right there. Look at that. He follows up for the for the four here, and he'll be right on, right on it. I just love firing this ball in. He needs to get a little straight on that six. He doesn't want to be going up and down again. Oh, look. Missed it. Oh, boy. Well, here it is. Mr. Moody back at the table. With a nice opportunity. Yeah. yeah again. Another one up on the board. Yeah. He'll be kicking himself, uh, kicking rocks down the road if he doesn't get out here. Yeah, the thing you didn't want, you're definitely supposed to get out here. Yeah, and sure. The first thing you don't want to do, put in, get in, in a situation here down 7 1, is to make a stupid mistake just on whether it's almost there. He bounced out a little too much there, about two inches too much right there. He should be closer to the rail right there. Then he could slide down. Now he's going to let the stroke out a little bit more than he had to. I'll let it rip. Yeah, he's got to hit this. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Nice touch. Yeah, you see how the idea. cue ball rolls in the, on that cloth? And the nice diamonds. Yeah, 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 it's beautiful. Right. Unfortunately, Everything's playing nice. Unfortunately, you don't need a crazy monster yeah, stroke correct. on this. Yeah. I kind of like letting that loose. It's a whole different game from... This is a little tough position here. It's on the rail like that, you know what? Let's just make it, right? Yeah, look, it was a tough position. He was coming up straight at that nine, and oh. he's on the rail. He couldn't look. do too much for fear of missing the seven. Got he it. got jammed up there pretty bad with that. He, he got it. Ended up on the rail like that. It cost him. Oh, he, he may have gotten away with it a little bit. Looks like you got to have to masse this in. But you got to feel for John here at 7-1. Uh, yeah, one. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that seven was no gimme. Yeah, he, it, he made a, a few. Oh, if he executes this shot, he's going to end up perfect on the eight. Look, yeah. look how perfect. Yeah, John made, missed a few too many balls and yeah. allowed Matt Craw. And that one hurt him, you know, that puts him on the hill. And Matt's been playing good. He's not, he hasn't oh, missed, sure. missing nope. anything. I'm so. not taking anything away from the kid. It's just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for John a little bit. Well, that's why Matt feels sorry for him, too. That's why he missed that ball. Give him a chance to get it back in it. Wow, that's a surprise right there. He, I'm kidding there. You yeah, know. I was just going to say, I yeah. think people may take you. No, that was, a, but, uh, that was a surprise that he missed that ball. Yeah, he wasn't supposed to miss that. He did let up on it. That's that's a little bit of a yeah, lack of concentration, I guess, right? Killer or lack of killer. Yeah, if I was this guy, I'd walk around the table four times before I shoot this nine just <laughs> to be back in it, to do anything. Wow, he let it out there, didn't he? All right, there we go. This, uh, a, okay. miss, a miss like that from Matt. We're playing his head now. Now he's back in his chair. If he does anything on the break here and gets rolling. It could change the game, Matt. Yeah. You know, I mean, what we've seen here from John, 
you know, he can strike balls and he gets around. He's made a, a lot of mistakes where it was enabled us to watch Matt play mostly. So we're really not getting a real good beat on uh, if John can catch a stroke here and maybe put some things together. Get a couple of jelly rolls. Yeah. And uh, put a couple of things together there. Let's see. I and don't know who I don't know what table's going on above us here, but there's one little two roll. tables. Yeah, Brandon Shuff at the top, the third table up there. What happened here? Yeah, let me go on my internet two, here. Oh, he's got the ones. Can see what some of the scores are. Oh, he can't see the one. Doubled him up on the one seven. You can't give this back. You think it's kind of tough to send that one over to the seven and I'm send down, the cue ball down? I'm down seven two. I'm letting the cue ball go at that nine ball. <laughs> Stop it! I, no, 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 I'm no. I'm not kidding. No, come on. This guy's probably packaged if before in his me, life. If you beat me seven and two, we're firing, huh? And I got nothing right here. Yeah, but he, if it was a push. You could give it back. You could just give it back. Then if I, you give it back and I'm upset or nothing, know what I'm going to do? But yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yeah. But look at this. If he fires, look, see, he fires over by the seven like that, and then he comes under the nine and two, and maybe the cue ball stops over near the eight. Okay. And it'll be a great shot to watch. It's, I, mean, I think can, it's the only safety he has here. You can play safe here. And I'd play it instead of giving it back, instead you of letting the other guy do that to me. Because no. you're not you're going to leave the one there. You're not going to sell out a shot. You might sell out the hit. But the, the one's not going anywhere. He's already sold out the set, Ed, so. No, no, John's got this. You know, in a way. I, I'll bet he, you five dollars a game he wins. Huh. <laughs> I thought you didn't bet. I'm not taking that, one. Oh no, 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 you no. Like so secure. Oh, he got good. I w I wouldn't have went on top of the nine. I didn't know he could, and that worked out pretty good. He's got to back kick this one rail here. Watch he's he's happy. Watch your cue ball. Yeah. John just does not want this ball to go in the side pocket. Oh, he played it up, up that way. Look at this. And there's no window. Wow. I don't even know he has. It. He may have a rail first on the on the left side on the long rail, but it's really tight. I think. Wow. He hooked him up pretty good here. If I don't have a hit on this one ball, do you know what I do here? When I play, when I practice, I send the two up under the eight, four, eight, and tie it up somehow. If you don't have the hit, what are you going to do? Tie something up if you can. But that ball in hand stuff from the one to the two, if it was any other ball, it would be better than the two. But Nice hit. Wow, what a great hit. No reward for it. But he did tie up maybe the three nine. I don't know if the three has a pocket now. That's close. It might be if it's frozen, it might not go. But it does go in the other side. He plays this in the side and comes straight up and down, I think. And he'll get dead on the two and then he'll have the three in the side perfect. Don't get on the roof here. Yeah, he's on the roof. Look at that. He's going to be elevated a little bit. There's a degree of dif difficulty on that one. It's going to change it up a little bit. And he has a, a little bit of a funny angle to get on that three on the side. So this is a tough, tough shot. He's got to bounce down and up. See that? On the roof a little bit. If you ever had a solid bridge, you better have it on this shot. Oh, you hit it so well. <laughs> Nothing but trouble. Well, 
Matt's looking to go on the hill here. He doesn't want to give this table back till he gets there, does he? Yeah, he... That's a comfortable position when the other guy's got two. Oh, he, Matt well. figures, I, I don't care what happens here. I gave you your chances that... He, he, he <laughs> there did. you go. He, he, You're he right. He did, did have opportunities. He d And he didn't want to give him those two opportunities. No, he didn't. He played a pretty fall, flawless set without... Uh, uh, besides those two little mis hiccups, mm -hmm. I knows two, he knows those two little hiccups on, uh, say, some other players uh, more advanced than John. Yeah, yeah. You, you lose a set like that, we're in a break for, with this format. You you make one mistake, it, it could yeah. be the end of you. Right, right. And that mistake. One mistake is four games on you. That mistake yeah. may just be the loss of the lag. Say. Yeah, right, right. That's how how important it is not to give your opponent like a free wheel at the uh, at the table uh, look at this eight in the side stop at the nine this is a this one is over he's on the hill up and down no you could just bounce up one bounce up to the, hit the even head string you bounce up to the head string it's fine wow he let it go look at that that wasn't bad, but I didn't think he had to do that. There's more than one way to solve a problem. But he is, it does have a big lead here. Nice shot. Straight in here. Ball in hand position. Nicely played. The on the hill. The sinking of this nine ball will put Matt Craw up on a hill against John Moody. Moody's probably going to win the set, though. All right, Matt Craw up 8-2. John Moody, once again, Turning Stone Classic, number 30, here in Verona, New York. Take it you don't want to bet the $5 a game? I'll take Moody. Every game? My guy's on the hill. <laughs> you know, the worst you can do is lose five bucks. It's <laughs> like you're getting odds. It's going to be great. Well, I'll take your five bucks. I feel, I feel kind of bad. I mean, so, a few things happened. I'd feel bad if I were you, too. Yeah, thank you. All right, here we go. Let's see Matt Crow uh, playing the cut break. You got to control the cue ball. Maybe get a little more mustard in this one. There you go. There you come up empty, though. You come up dry again. And he locked up the one. Oh, that's, look at that, one four. Yeah, this is but a little bit of a mess. We're going to have a little strategic. Uh, where are we pushing from here? Battle here. The beginning of the rack. Which might go to uh, John's. Uh, advantage a little bit. The chess slow, match? Slow your opponent yeah, right. down. Yeah. Even though he's on the hill. That last one's not always easy to get. Wow. You put him on the rail. Nice. I'd right, like to say hi to everybody in the chat room. I'm going to log on from my phone. I can't really see. You know, this is almost a shot. It's kind of dangerous to send it down to the, the nine. But he can stop on the two by... Sending the one down by the nine, the nine six, and stopping there, and just he's got a free shot. At, oh, he gave it back. I think that's the safety play here. You send the nine down and stop the cue ball on the two. How y'all doing? That's what he did. I left him on the rail. Left him long, long. Oh, this would be tough position also to get back up on that too. I think he just played a little mouse trap, bring the cue ball down between the six and the nine, and kick the one over. You like that? You, oh, yeah. Well, I, yeah. That's doable. even if you don't hide, even if you don't hide them, uh, hiding them behind those two balls is the plus. The other thing is you're controlling it and you're just putting it over here for yeah, a bank but shot. That's, that's a it's, lot like, of it's like a containing shot with the... Uh, just so difficult because he's frozen on that top rail. Yeah, that's right. He got part of a that's ball. That's what he did, look. And if he gets... If he hide behind this one of those balls, right. that would have yeah, been a plus. Oh, it was golden, yeah. Now the eight is a little more messed up than it was. at the six down here? The six is a little more messed up. Yeah, put the, the one ball over back at a three. But that's the five here. He played the six... Now you from that the way that five ball is positioned, you might end up playing the six nine combo after after the five. I'm down eight two. I'm shooting it in the corner. 
Yeah, yeah. They didn't get him there. It leaves Matt Craw a shot here to yeah. maybe a half a pocket float it down that. Oh, he might have the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. that's true. He and he'll sure bounce does. out for the two perfect. You if don't want to hit too. If you do hit the, if cheat the right side of the pocket, you don't want to hit too much of that rail. You can get away with hitting the point, but you can't get away with hitting too much more of that, especially with this ball that far out. Wow, like nice that. shot. And he used speed, too. That wow. was even a... a well, that, was a, good, that was a game-winning shot right there. His only problem right now, he has to concentrate, is that six ball. It's going to come into play a little bit. And John's not liking it. Of course not. Yeah, no, he's... he's he can't be happy. The thing when you're sitting in that seat is just try not to throw in a towel at this point. There's always a... Always a chance you might get back at the table. That was a good position right there. He sent that thing, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. He got a little short on it, came out perfect. What do you think? A little center draw and you just come right down perfect to be straight in on the five here. You don't need to go to a rail here. I, I, I hope he's, he's going to go to the rail, isn't he? Well, he likes I think to he is. He, that does something that's uh, I kind of like in his game. He's hardly ever elevated that cue. That cue ball, when, whenever he he has to. Right. Uh, level cue all the time. He's right? always level cue. Well, he's got this. If he executes this five, he'll be dead on the six nine after this. Oh, no, he's going the other way. Wow. Oh, how do he hit it? All right, Matt Crow for a combination for uh, the win against John Moody here. Matt Crow's up eight to two. This is a race to nine. Matt Crow. Uh, pretty good stuff. Nice shooting. Matt Crow for the win. I'd like to uh, say thank you for everybody watching. We'll be back in a few minutes. We Our next match is coming up at eight, I believe. Um, yeah, and in the meantime. The what time are you playing? I play at 10. All right, 10, uh, okay. You got, and uh, you viewers can see uh, Brandon Shelf about two more tables up, and I don't, I'm not sure who's playing right above you here, but you get to see some pool till the 8 o'clock match starts. Thank you very much. Bye. All right, folks. Uh, we're just going to leave you with this view for a few minutes. I think Joey's working on the next match, uh, who's coming up. And he'll post that on Facebook and hopefully uh, AZ Billiards and SVB. all that other good. Oh, SVB? Versus Cicero. Joey Cicero. Versus Joey Cicero. Joey Cicero and uh, Shane. Take it easy. Oh, sorry. Oh. No. I didn't call Hane knocking into me. I'm going to crush his hat. Uh, yeah, and we'll see you in a little bit. Enjoy this match. Hopefully we uh, we did good for the last match. Once again, thank all our sponsors in view. Castile level, le Leather uh, Goods. I guess they make all kinds of belts and shoes and whatever you need leather. I wonder if they do cases. AZ Billiards, Aramith, Simonis Cloth, Chalky Sticks, JB, Baltimore City Qs. Hustling, you see them all up there. Lights, systems, Kamui, John. We like know all of these people by their first names, and uh, this is all family here. For the love of the game, people, like, share, and uh, tell your friends. We're here watching some good pool, and you got Shane coming up next. Top player in the uh, United States, and our favorite in the world. We'll be back.